Nowruz is the name of the Iranian New Year. Nowruz marks the first day of spring or equinox and the beginning of the year in the Persian calendar. It is celebrated on the day of the astronomical Northwood Equinox, which usually occurs on March 21st or the previous following day depending on where it is observed. The moment the sun crosses the celestial equator and equalizes night and day is calculated exactly every year and families gather together to observe the rituals. Nowruz is celebrated by people from diverse ethnic communities and religious backgrounds for thousands of years. It is a secular holiday for most celebrants that is enjoyed by people of several different faiths but remains a holy day for Zoroastrians. It originated in Persia in one of the capitals of the Achaemenid Empire and Persis is celebrated by the cultural region that came under Iranian influence. Origin Nowruz is partly rooted in the religious tradition of Zoroastrianism or even older in tradition of Mitraism because in Mitraism festivals had a deep linkage with the sunlight. The Persian festivals of Yalda and Merigan and Tyagan also had an origination in the sun god, among other ideas. Zoroastrianism is the first monotheistic religion that emphasizes broad concepts such as the corresponding work of good and evil in the world, and the connection of humans to nature. Zoroastrian practices were dominant for much of the history of ancient Persia. Nowruz is believed to have been invented by Zoroaster himself, although there is no clear date of origin. Since the Achaemenid era the official year has begun with the new day when the sun leaves the zodiac of Pisces and enters the zodiacal sign of Aries, signifying the spring equinox. Nowruz is also a holy day for Sufi Muslims, Bektashis, Ishmaelis, Alawites, Elevis, Babis and adherents of the Baha'i faith. The term Nowruz in writing first appeared in historical Persian records in the 2nd century CE, but it was also an important day during the time of the Achaemenids, where kings from different nations under the Persian Empire used to bring gifts to the emperor, also called King of Kings, of Persia on Nowruz. The significance of Nowruz in the Achaemenid Empire was such that the great Persian king Cambyses II's appointment as the king of Babylon was legitimized only after his participation in the New Year festival. Nowruz in Contemporary World Before the collapse of the Soviet Union, Iran was the only country that officially observed the ceremonies of Nowruz. When the Central Asian and Caucasus countries gained independence from the Soviets, they also declared Nowruz as a national holiday. The UN's General Assembly in 2010 recognized the International Day of Nowruz, describing it as a spring festival of Persian origin which has been celebrated for over 3,000 years. During the meeting of the Intergovernmental Committee for the Safeguarding of the Intangible Heritage of the United Nations, Held between the 28th of September the 2nd of October 2009, Nowruz was officially registered on the UNESCO list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Etymology: The term Nowruz is a Persian compound word and consists of now means new, descends from Proto-Indo-European asterisk nuqtuos and has the following cognates. In Latin Novus, German Noi, Sanskrit Nava, Russian Novi J, etc. The Persian pronunciation differs in the many dialects of the language. While the Eastern dialects have preserved the original diphthong, the Western dialects usually pronounce it with a different diphthong, and some colloquial variants pronounce it with a monophthong. Ruz means day in modern Persian, as did Middle Persian LWC. The original meaning of the word, however, was light. The term is descended from Proto-Iranian asterisk Rorka, itself derived from Proto-Indo-European asterisk Luke, and is related to Sanskrit Rushi, Latin Lux, Armenian Lois, Russian Lucan, in fact, English light, Nowruz and the spring equinox. The first day on the Iranian calendar falls on the March equinox, the first day of spring, around the 20th of March. 
At the time of the equinox, the Sun is observed to be directly over the equator, and the north and south poles of the Earth lie along the solar terminator. Sunlight is evenly divided between the north and south hemispheres. In around the 11th century CE major reforms of the Iranian calendars took place and whose principal purpose were to fix the beginning of the calendar year, i.e., Nowruz, at the vernal equinox. Accordingly, the definition of Nowruz given by the Iranian scientist USI was the following. The first day of the official New Year, Nowruz, was always the day on which the sun entered Aries before noon. History and Tradition Tradition and mythology The celebration has its roots in ancient Iran. Due to its antiquity, there exist various foundation myths for Nowruz in Iranian mythology. In the Zoroastrian tradition, the seven most important Zoroastrian festivals are the Gahimbars and Nowruz, which occurs at the spring equinox. According to Mary Boyce, between sunset on the day of the sixth Gahanbar and sunrise of Nowruz, Hamaspath Maidea was celebrated. This and the Gahanbar are the only festivals named in the surviving text of the Avastar. The Shah Namir dates Nowruz as far back to the reign of Jamshid, who in Zoroastrian texts saved mankind from a killer winter that was destined to kill every living creature. The mythical Persian king Jamshid perhaps symbolizes the transition of the Indo-Iranians from animal hunting to animal husbandry and a more settled life in human history. In the Shah Namir and Iranian mythology, he is credited with the foundation of Nowruz. In the Shah Nama, Jamshid constructed a throne studded with gems. He had demons raise him above the earth into the heavens. There he sat on his throne like the sun shining in the sky. The world's creatures gathered in wonder about him and scattered jewels around him, and called this day the new day or no, now Ruz. This was the first day of the month of Farvadin. The Persian scholar Abu Rayhan Biruni of the 10th century CE, in his Persian work Kitab al Tafhim Liawari Sinat al Tanjim, provides a description of the calendar of various nations. Besides the Persian calendar, various festivals of Arabs, Jews, Sabians, Greeks and other nations are mentioned in this book. In the section on the Persian calendar, he mentions Nauruz, Sade, Tyagan, Merigan, the Six Gahanbar, Parvadagan, Barmanja, Isfandamaj and several other festivals. According to him, it is the belief of the Persians that Nauruz marks the first day when the universe started its motion. The Persian historian Abbasar Adgardazi in his work titled Zain al-Akbar under the section of the Zoroastrians festivals mentions Nauruz and specifically points out that Zoroaster highly emphasized the celebration of Nauruz and Merigan. History Although it is not clear whether Proto-Indo-Iranians celebrated a feast as the first day of the calendar, there are indications that both Iranians and Indians may have observed the beginning of both autumn and spring, related to the harvest and the sowing of seeds, respectively, for the celebration of New Year. Boyson and Grenet explain the traditions for seasonal festivals in comment. It is possible that the splendor of the Babylonian festivities at this season led the Persians to develop their own spring festival into an established New Year feast, with the name Navasadar New Year. Since the communal observations of the ancient Iranians appear in general to have been a seasonal ones, and related to agriculture, it is probable that they traditionally held festivals in both autumn and spring, to mark the major turning points of the natural year. We have reasons to believe that the celebration is much older than that date and was surely celebrated by the people and royalty during the Achaemenid times. It was, therefore, a highly auspicious occasion for the ancient Iranian peoples. It has been suggested that the famous Persepolis complex, or at least the Palace of Apadana and the Hundred Columns Hall, were built for the specific purpose of celebrating Nauru's. Although there may be no mention of Nauru's in recorded Achaemenid inscriptions, 
there is a detailed account by Xenophon of a Nauru's celebration taking place in Persepolis and the continuity of this festival in the Achaemenid tradition. In 539 BC the Jews came under Persian rule thus exposing both groups to each other's customs. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, the story of Purim as told in the Book of Esther is adapted from a Persian novella about the shrewdness of harem queens suggesting that Purim may be a transformation of the Persian New Year. A specific novella is not identified and Encyclopedia Britannica itself notes that no Jewish texts of this genre from the Persian period are extant so these new elements can be recognized only inferentially. The Encyclopedia of Religion and Ethics notes that the Purim holiday is based on a lunar calendar while Nauru's occurs at the spring equinox. The two holidays are therefore celebrated on different dates but within a few weeks of each other, depending on the year. Both holidays are joyous celebrations, given their temporal associations. It is possible that the Jews and Persians of the time may have shared or adopted similar customs for these holidays. The story of Purim as told in the Book of Esther has been dated anywhere from 625 BC, while Nauru's is thought to have first been celebrated between 555-330 BC. It remains unclear which holiday was established first. Nauru's was the holiday of Arsacid, Parthian dynastic empires who ruled Iran and the other areas ruled by the Arsacid dynasties outside Parthia. There are specific references to the celebration of Nauru's during the reign of Ologasis I, but these include no details. Before Sassanids established their power in West Asia around 300 CE, Parthians celebrated Nauru's in autumn and first of Father Dean began at the autumn equinox. During Parthian dynasty the spring festival was Meragan, the Zoroastrian and Iranian festival celebrated in honor of Mithra. Extensive records on the celebration of Nauru's appear following the accession of Ardashir I of Persia, the founder of the Sassanid dynasty. Under the Sassanid emperors, Nauru's was celebrated as the most important day of the year. Most royal traditions of Nauru's such as royal audiences with the public cash gifts and the pardoning of prisoners, were established during the Sasanian era and persisted unchanged until modern times. Nauru's, along with Sade, survived in society following the introduction of Islam in 650 CE. Other celebrations such Gahanbar and Meragan were eventually sidelined or were only followed by the Zoroastrians, who carried them. It was adopted as the main royal holiday during the Abbasid period. In the book Nauru's Nama, a vivid description of the celebration in the courts of the kings of Persia is provided. Following the demise of the Caliphate and the subsequent re-emergence of Persian dynasties such as the Samanids and Bayids, Nauru's was elevated to an even more important event. The Bayids revived the ancient traditions of Sasanian times and restored many smaller celebrations that had been eliminated by the Caliphate. According to the Syrian historian Yaqit al hamawi the Iranian Bayad ruler Azad Odullah customarily welcomed Nauru's in a majestic hall, wherein servants had placed gold and silver plates and vases full of fruit and colorful flowers. The king would sit on the royal throne, and the court astronomer came forward, kissed the ground, and congratulated him on the arrival of the new year. The king would then summon musicians and singers, and invited his boon companions. They would gather in their assigned places and enjoy a great festive occasion. Even the Turkic and Mongol invaders did not attempt to abolish Nauru's in favor of any other celebration. Thus, Nauru's remained as the main celebration in the Persian lands by both the officials and the people. Local Variations the festival of Nauru's is celebrated by many groups of people in the Middle East, Central and South Asia. 
but particularly by Persians and various other Iranian peoples. It is called Norad or Nuwaykal by the Pashtuns, Navroz by Zoroastrians of the subcontinent, Nevruz in Turkic, Uyghurs who live in northwestern China call it Noruz, and it is called Sultan Nevruz in Albanian. In Kurdish communities located in parts of western Iran, the holiday is referred to as Nuruz, which is a variety of the Persian word Nauruz. The variety Noros is also an Eastern Persian word and is also used in the Persian-speaking regions of Central Asia. In Pashto language it is pronounced as Nor-W-R-A-Z.